Good morning everyone and welcome to our first of weekly videos for the Han from the Hanity Model Railway channel. Yes, this is the first of the weekly videos as we feature our resident fleet that will be based on the Hanity Steam Railway. Now there has been a lot of talk going on, or some people have seen on my Instagram, some of the engines are already based there. I thought with this cover on, I thought let's have a, a bit of fun here. Not like you see in Formula 1 with their car launches to the press where the Formula 1 teams unveil it. I thought let's have a bit of fun here and let's reveal our first locomotive that will be a resident on the Harnessy Steam Railway. Well, there you go. It's going to be the only Pacific to be based on the railway. <clears throat> I'd like you to meet 6007 Sir Nigel Gresley, based on the preserved counterpart owned by the A4 Preservation Society. This model was originally Hornby's newest edition, released earlier this year in January, and was originally 60022 Mallard, the world record holder, show how the engine looked in the late 1940s during the BR's experimental liveries of what they were going to do as their main expresses. This was originally as I said but literally after I got it it was sent away to a good friend of mine at Grimy Times Models in Warrington which I highly recommend who done the renumber and renaming for me to the preserved counterpart 6000 6007 Sir Nigel Gresley. It's in its current form on how the A real counterpart looked in the mid 1990s onwards after its overhaul in 1994. <clears throat> and this is how the real counterpart looked upon its withdrawal in 2015 for its current overhaul at the National Railway Museum in York. Now, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, the real counterpart's overhaul is being hold is on hold for now until it is safe to return and the real counterparts overhaul will be the last mainline locomotive to be outshopped at the National Railway Museum before the workshop of where it is now will be converted to a kids wonder lab which I find that controversial but I don't want to argue any further on that anyway forget about that this is the more important one now people were thinking as I've shown you in my previous video of the drawings it's a 6x3 layout and people say, hang on a minute. This engine will be far too tight to go on the tight curves with a 3 foot width of the layout. Well, let me explain to you on that. As you can see on the trailer truck there, it's a flangeless wheel, you see, underneath the cab, which enabling them to go around tight curves. As over the years, Hornby with their Pacifics, such as the A4s, the A3s and the Bully Pacifics, on the modern locos, they are having flangeless wheels, although the flange wheels are included in them. Although the flangeless wheel can make engines like this go round tight curves. Now this was already tested on a very tight curve, very tight radius, with a free foot width at our friends at the Rainhill Model Railway Club's Linair layout, which there that layout is 10 by 3. <clears throat> now this will be only used for a short while, despite being a resident, because this would be a mainline registered locomotive, which can be on tour to other layouts, such as at the Rainhill Model Railway Club, will be able to achieve more of its high speeds. But it can be capable of having, holding the heaviest trains on the Model Railway during the summer seasons. Now, of course, it can go out on the main line or any other model railway at any moment's notice if they are down on motive power. So this is our first engine of our new edition. As I said, this was originally Mallard, but thanks to the excellent work by our friends at Grimy Times Models in Warrington, which I highly recommend, they've done an excellent job in renumber and renaming the locomotive here which I say a big thanks to them. Although there was a, a bit of confusion regarding the plaque because when they were doing it, they accidentally took the plaque off, similar to Mallard, since Sir Nigel Gressy currently holds the post-war speed record 
of 112 miles an hour on the East Coast Main Line. But fortunately that was quickly rectified and everything is all happy terms. So this is the first of videos over the coming weeks revealing our resident fleet and who will be living on the Harnessy Steam Railway. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again real soon where we reveal our next locomotive in the Harnessy Steam Railway. Take care and goodbye.